Hi friends, in this session, I am going to explain about SUMX function in Power BI DAX. This is one of important DAX function in Power BI reporting. If you are watching first time my video, please subscribe and like my channel and also share with your friends. Why? Because in this channel, I am providing complete training of Power BI from beginning level to advanced level and also interview questions, real time project explanation with scenario based, monthly updates, much more updated in this channel. So, if you follow my classes from class 1, you will definitely will get the job and also easy to survive in real time environment. So in this video, we will discuss about some function with filter and without filter. Okay. Before going to implementation, let me explain what is SUMX in Power BI DAX and what is the syntax of SUMX and what are the examples provided by Microsoft Power BI team. So let me go to my browser to understand SUMX. Okay some x in power bi let me open official page of power bi dex some x is nothing but return the sum of an expression evaluated for each row in a table that means some x will work row by row very simple okay syntax is very simple table comma expression wherever x sum x min x max x wherever x table comma expressions okay that's it that is the simple technique to remember now parameters parameters about passing the values about these two things okay table the table containing the rows for each row the expression will be evaluated and expression is nothing but the expression to be evaluated for each row of the table now come some remarks the func sum x function takes as it is first argument as a table or an expression that return a table okay the second argument is a column that contain the numbers you want to sum or an expression that evaluates a column only the numbers in the column are counted blanks and logical values and text are ignored these two points are very very important for more complex examples of some x in formula, see all and calculator table. Don't worry, I will explain in coming sessions. This function is not supported for use in direct query mode when you use uh, when you use it in calculated columns or row level security rules. Okay. They given one example, they given only one example with filter. I will show some x without filter also. Let me explain with simple example, then we'll take uh, data from the adventure works and I will explain this one. Okay. Now let's move to my power BI desktop. Let me take product table, which is created by me. Okay. I will take this one. This is very simple table. That's the reason I am taking. Let me click on load. Applying changes. Don't worry, it won't take much time to load small table and easy to load now my table is loaded now go to data view see here numbers already it is some okay if you don't want you can go and you can check okay don't summarize also you can do it okay now see here product id is there product name is there quantity is there prices but there is no sales column but i want to know uh, total sales amount so i don't want to create extra column sales amount and then i want to sum i don't want i don't i want to calculate directly uh, quantity into price then total sales okay if you do quantity into price we'll get it then 
for that i will take calculated column new column i just mentioned total sales okay by using some x we can achieve this some x come here what is the syntax table comma expression my table name is product comma and uh, my expression is uh, quantity into price quantity into price let's enter now see this is the total sales amount what it does row by row calculated uh, quantity 100 uh, quantity 10 into price 100 10 into 100 20 into 200 30 into uh, 300 40 into 400 and 50 into um, 500 and that value it sums okay so i achieved here uh, total sales amount without creating sales amount column okay now you can write anything here this is nothing but expression so here i use into if you want to do plus you can do it okay so it will do 10 plus 100 20 plus 200 like this it will do then it will calculate it total okay first it will work row by row then it will sums if you want to do minus you can go it it doesn't matter so all mathematical operations will work So, here I did not return any filter function, okay. Don't worry. Uh, now, they given one example here. They taken fact internet sales and they used a, a filter function, right. So, don't worry. Let me connect to my SQL server. If anybody watching first time audio, AdventureWorks DW 2017 under Northwind databases. If you practice these two databases, you will get familiar with the real world data. That's the reason why I'm telling. Okay. Now I am using only one table, fact internet sales. Okay. This table is enough to show this example. That's the reason why I'm taking. Import. Import is always faster than direct query mode. Okay, my table is loaded now. Now, see here. Come to fact internet sales. Here already. See here, if you want to don't summarize, you can summarize it. See here, don't summarize, then this sum symbol will be gone. Okay, see here, order quantity is don't summarize. Okay, don't worry. Now, I want to calculate total sales amount first of all.
are just a total sales same measure name we cannot give that's the reason why i will give total sales amount okay equal to sales amount i want to know the total sales amount from the fact internet sales measure also we will give the same result but we can reuse the measure that's the reason why initially i am taking this one otherwise we can write directly here also see here they did not given but we can write here okay don't worry i will show now okay now this is the total sales amount okay now go to data view and come here and come to sales territory key come here here lot of uh, now this is the total sales amount okay whatever we calculate this is the total sales amount but i don't want total sales amount i want total sales amount only when sales territory key is equal to 5 how do we achieve by using filter function we can achieve okay so directly we can filter here also so what we do is first of all i will show you unselect everything i want only sales territory key is equal to 5 then okay come here okay now right click new measure some x with filter okay mix with filter for better understanding some x so first of all what you need to raise table name table name is fact internet sales expression what you want to filter i want filter based on sales territory key sales territory key equal to 5 so what you want to return so i want to return uh, total sales amount right okay sorry we need to write here filter okay now i want to return here amount you can use the measure also anything don't worry it won't take much time now drag here is the total sales now i don't want sales territory key is equal to 5 i want to sales territory key is equal to 2 then only i require total sales see here values are changing so you can write the directly you can mention the column also i given measure why because i want to show an example 
uh, how to reuse the measures that's the reason why you can give sales amount okay both will work same in coming sessions i will reuse the measure more times okay every time maximum okay same result is given now put right this is the total sales amount when sales territory key is equal to 4 okay this is the total sale this is a total uh, freight amount okay whatever you will give here that it will return so in this way we can use uh, some x with filters and without filters okay so if you have any doubts or something you can directly uh, contact uh, in the comment box okay uh, thank you for watching my video if anybody wants special training you can directly email to this email or you can directly call to this my mobile number my whatsapp